the last time, maybe the last two times I used my Sony camera, my Rode wireless microphones were doing some hellacious squealing. And I don't know if it's just due to the plug-in cables getting old. They're a couple years old or just a little bit unplugged. I'm not sure. So if this happens today, I apologize. We are at our new home for the next 21 days here at Thousand Trails, Claremont, Florida, or better known as Thousand Trails, Orlando. Just kind of chilling. I got to go to work tonight. Steph, on the other hand, she is just going to be enjoying the scenery and the outdoors. She ended up getting us a couple really cool little yard decorations. And I went to Lowe's the other day and I got some of these solar lights that uh, are actually pretty bright. They're not on right now, obviously it's daytime. But they will show off and shine the light on the beautiful Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie reminds people to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My car isn't here. My car is at work already, and Steph is gonna have to take me to work to get my car. So I will be riding in a Chevy Bolt EV. This was the original car I was gonna purchase. Well, not this one, specific one. Steph got this one. Mine was a burnt orange one that I kind of really liked. But instead, nope, I got a Nissan Leaf again. I cannot believe how well this RV has stood up through the years. Yeah, it looks a little bit worn, paint's faded, cat's gotten larger, but it, all in all, it's been a, a pretty good, I mean, $5,000, it was a pretty good investment. I mean, I could have done a lot worse. Well, we have a little bit of good news today. You guys can see that. Got a brand new firmware update. And I am installing it right now onto my adapter. Well, I was planning to install it. It's been so long since I got an update. My adapter's internal battery is dead. And it's not letting me install the software or the firmware. So I have to charge it. And from my understanding, when I first got this thing, it takes about 10 hours to charge this thing. I'm hoping to maybe just let it charge for about an hour. Maybe then I could just put the firmware on it. And, uh, and then I'll let it charge for a, a couple more hours and then I'll take it out for some testing. But good news. That's pretty good news. So the new version is version 3.3.8.6 IV2. Point one. So uh, let's see if that is going to work in the next couple of videos. I will be hitting quite a few charging stations. Make sure to tune in. Hopefully, hopefully all the tests that I sent in in the past has opened up the Signets, the Deltas, and more of the ABB chargers. It would be amazing. We're on version 2.1 now. So... I know that's good for Europe and everywhere else, but is it good for the United States? Fingers crossed. I only have about 30 more days and I'm going on a fairly long road trip. And it would be so nice if I can get that thing charging with the CCS chargers. Or stations, not chargers, stations. What's crazy is I haven't got, received a firmware update in probably a month, a month and a half. So much so that I forgot how to, f well, I know how to format the thumb drive that you're supposed to put all the information back on and then plug it into the unit and transfer that data back onto the adapter. I kind of, I've been sitting here for about an hour trying to figure it out and I haven't been able to put it on. I'm still running the old version 1.0 or IV1, and um, every time I try and flash that hard drive onto the system and unplug it and plug it back into the computer to make sure 
that the process worked, it's still showing that version one is actually on the unit. So I'm really hoping it's just because the battery's dead within the unit, that it, it's, I haven't been able to test it in so long that the battery died. Um, but the green light still flashes periodically, so I was assuming it would work. Uh, once again, probably user error. Um, we'll just have to see. I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit and I'll get it working. I did email Dong, Dong Guan Tech and Leslie and let them know that it just, that's still version one on there. And, and fingers crossed, they just accidentally resent me the last software update or the firmware update thinking, you know, because it gets confusing. You get so many firmware updates and you go to email somebody one and you might have emailed them the wrong firmware rather than the newest, newest one. So it could be that too, but I'm going to blame this on user error me. I'll blame it on me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like I said, time goes on, time goes on. You're waiting for the software or the firm. Yeah, the software. And um, you forget all the little steps needed to do this. It's not very easy for someone that doesn't really use their computer much other than for VR gaming. Well, I think I got the right software put onto it. It's hard to tell. I'm still not sure anything I do with this thing. It could be working at every single charger and because it's me trying to use it, it just doesn't work. Anyway, I did get the firmware put onto it, I think. And so uh, tomorrow and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be driving around town and giving this thing a shot. But in the meantime, uh, let's put it away. I don't know if I'm ever going to be used to putting firmware updates and stuff and something like that. When I first ordered it, I just wanted it to work right out of the box. I didn't know I was getting one of those units that you have to test and keep putting firmware onto it. I thought it was just taken out of the box, plug it into the charger, and it was just going to work. As great as that would have been, and as much as I wish it would have been that way, it is what it is. And uh, I didn't know I was going to be one of the guinea pigs, the test subjects. But it makes for great videos, especially when it works. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and go get a little nap. And then probably head over to the airport, do a little bit of ride share. And then tomorrow morning, wake up and start driving around and testing it out. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in. And if you want to see if it works... At any of the chargers tomorrow, make sure you check out the next couple of videos. Until then, peace out, everybody.